This is me, a Grandmaster level DPS player, but I have never spent any time playing Junkrat, so I thought it'd be fun to spend 7 days learning him. To help me out, I got coaching from Jake, who is a former pro player, one of the only people to consistently play Junkrat in the Overwatch League. The tips he gave me absolutely blew my mind, and they will yours too if you want to get better at Junkrat. So check it out. Actually, actually go, go training range. That's one thing I want to go over before. Oh shit, alright, I like it. The most important thing about playing Junkrat, like literally the most important thing. <laughs> okay. I want to see you do some one shot combos. I just want to see how you, how you do it. All right, should I try to hit some moving targets? Let's try. My yeah, one shot yeah, yeah, yeah. it's definitely been a bit inconsistent. Like I sometimes get this it, sometimes not. This is the most don't. important thing. <laughs> okay, that was good. That was good. The key is the is that you're you're pressing the shift as fast as possible after the shot. Like you're mm -hmm. instantly pressing. Ideally, they're like almost synced up. Right. Yeah, exactly. So the more it's looking like that, so you're fine. You know how to. You know the 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 key concept. Okay. That's probably Number the one. most important. In, in the thing on Jarka, I just want to make sure you're like consistent because that will be 70% of your kills is yep. going to be this. So the other 30% are going to be from Riptide. <laughs> yeah, or and the 10% from random spam. Yeah, there's a little bit of random spam or like trap kills. So okay, awesome. Do you want to go? Let's sweet. See. Do you want to let's? Should we talk some theory, or do you want me to go straight in and then? No, go? honestly. It's such a weird hero. I would say like the current, the realities of Junkrat and the current meta, it's like so off meta and so weird. You're basically, every game, you're going to be like cheesing, finding a way to win. Okay. Like, that's the nature of the hero. So you're going to, every game, if it's like occasionally, very occasionally, you'll have like an actual good comp where you can kind of just like chill and spam and then like do occasional flanks and stuff. But if most games, you will have to like flank on your own over and over and over again and try and get kills. That's kind of a, so I'll, I'll queue up. So that, that's kind of the question I was going to ask you anyways, which is that like predominantly, so this is now day four. I'll see how many hours I have on Junkrat. So we have 10 hours. Uh, okay. So so per, I was going to say predominantly, I feel like I've been flanking and trying to like get off angles on people and sneak up and delete people. Yeah. And I was wondering if that's like the correct or the incorrect thing. That is generally good. The question is just, so, so that's one play style. I would say that's probably the the best play style or like the most common if you're going to be playing Junkrat all the time. Mm -hmm. The thing you want to mix up is basically your spam, like defaulting as, a, as spamming when that's not an option or it's not a good option. Sometimes if you flank, also as you get like higher level, if like people don't see you, they just know you're flanking and then they like anticipate you and kill you, um, especially with counter heroes, which I don't know at, ma at, ma GM at Masters 5, like maybe, maybe not actually, how much people are aware of you walking up on them and stuff. Um, but certain comps you can also just, you, like you actually can just like spam and play with the team. Um, if, if you're, if the enemy has to like push into your spam and your team is is okay, and, like you don't need to make kills, you're not like getting out poked, then, oh nice, all right, maybe the worst. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start, uh, start with the fire. <laughs> This is a true trial by fire, that's for exactly. sure. Yeah, one thing I've noticed is Junkrat's footsteps are super loud. Super yes, loud. They're extremely loud. You need to crouch a lot when you're when you're okay. So when you are on the flanks and you're trying to sneak up, you can hold crouch. That's like, yeah, you actually make no footsteps, right? But that's obviously super slow. So you kinda wanna mix it up between hold crouch and then spamming while you just hold W and you just spam crouch. Um, so like that this, like reduces like this. your footsteps. Yeah, exactly. So you're faster than pure holding crouch, but you're not perfectly silent. Right. It's just a little bit like not as bad as just running in terms mm -hmm. of footsteps. So usually what I'll do is I'll be like crouch rocking the very start of the flank. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as I like see somebody that I want to get close to, I probably start crouch spamming to get close to them right. as fast as gotcha. I can and then burst them. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so on this map, you're pretty much always going to go left into the little room because that's like the spot for you, right? Like you want to be on these all these corners, close close corners, where you can, number one, you can bounce your shots off the walls and stuff to like shoot around doorways, which is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're looking for your chances of one shots. But you want to basically just be annoying while you're taking pushes. So don't yeah, even worry this. about that. Okay, don't, don't even, even worry about that. All right, all right. Ignore. Don't use our energy. Yeah, go for her back. So they're like... Oh, that's okay, cool. you got that kill, but I would not have shot there. I would have walked. Oh, you'd have right waited to get closer, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, 
because you hit two shots, but like, let's be honest. <laughs> like, you they were RNG, died. RNG. You like got one of the Lucio and then the soldier slid past. You didn't even know she was there, right? Yeah, RNG, fully. Run away. No. Ah, oh, shit. Nah, no, they, they, they picked the horse. Should I play basically like not been that deep? Less. It was a bit deep. Honestly, I think that was a, like, as a, your team was not pushed up at all. So you just can't be it was like well, you two of your guys were pushed up and nobody else was. Yeah, yeah. I kind of just assumed autopilot that they would just be up, but. Yeah, that's oh. like, they probably should have been. It should have been next one on car and everyone on the corner. So I don't want to crit I don't blame you that bad, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I'll pay more attention to these guys. You kind of have to keep an eye on what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this level, it's like a lot of turning around and watching your teammates because you don't know what they're going to do. So I go again in the room, basically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, like, just... being outside is just hell. Oh, okay. He had the same idea. Yeah, he did well. He did well. I mean, honestly, like, that, this play, what he's doing, hiding on corners, is extremely good. This is, mm -hmm. on defense, this will be your default, actually. Okay. Just playing on okay. corners and trying to combo attack. On attack, you're, so right here, like, clear the corner with spam. Spam it. Spam yeah. the place where he was. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Yeah. Could be there, yeah. Okay, you're good. Spaving this doorway is nice. So he's doing the same thing to you. You wanna... Okay, well, there's your left, there's your left. Yeah, 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 just wanted to get... Okay, we're out. So Try right wait there, corner. Beat... Yeah, you go for it, just hide here. Oh, <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. See, I mean, he he is aware of the possibility. So yeah. What yeah. Really, when that, what your biggest mistake there was, you went and you looked at the Arissa. Right. Really. I should have gone that for was the, the people spot left. where you should turn the corner and like and go for a one shot. Okay. Like realistically, Arissa's a pretty bad hero for you to shoot. Okay. Because she doesn't have a shield for you to break, so she's not that easy to hit. Like uh, shield heroes are very easy to hit, and you can't. He's in there. Really. Yeah, something like this. You can like, go all in for a kill right now. Or, or oh, okay, okay. Honestly, when your team dies like that, just, just go, go all go in. Okay, try and trade something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then maybe you'll have a good It ended up being okay. Now you just don't want to die. Yeah, okay. So we got ults coming up. Do I try to like, save anything for the grab particularly, or just keep going? Um, For grab, you want to jump into the grab, not tire it. Okay. Oh, oh nice. Oh. You get the tire here. Hide, though. Yeah, you could die. Watch out, he might beat. He's gonna beat us. So you wanna hide? Just drive the tire in the wall and wait. Yeah. Yeah, it's it real. Beat is not honestly that good against tire. You just have to be ready to run, like not commit with the tire. Okay, you just wait an extra second. Okay, let me check where my yeah, team yeah, yeah. Wait a couple. It usually takes like depends how good the beat is, is timing and stuff. But wait like two, three seconds and then go get some. Points. The only thing that can go wrong is if you're like driving into them and then. But honestly, it's scary because you can also one shot him if you're close enough. Right? So he has to be kind of early. So do I want to go left here? Um, yeah, I would try to play top. I would just they're to the left here on, on the sense. They're all to the left. That's that's what you really want to be thinking about. Spamming the Zarya. Right. See, like, honestly, I wouldn't even be shooting here because you're giving your whole position up by okay. spamming the Zarya, and you're like you're literally accomplishing nothing shooting those bombs with the Zarya. Okay, so, like, okay. He knows, you know, exactly where you are because of that. Mm -hmm. Versus you coming around the corner. Gotcha. Honestly, so, what? go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I was well, gonna I was say, so like you wanna, you wanna, like you're prioritizing stealth over just like chip damage. Yes, basically. yes, yes. Like, like on a Zarya, shooting her is like might be worse than doing nothing. <laughs> right. Like, okay. Right. Like, so, so against some heroes, it's like, oh, there's actually a sort of a tougher decision, right? Okay, so I'll, I'll be quiet now. Maybe look for the like. Yeah, yeah. Look for somebody not the Zarya. If you don't see it, it's okay. Like, there's a lot of like peeking around corner. Nobody's here. Okay, peek around another corner. Maybe nobody's there. They're close here for sure. Damn. He's, good. He's got the he combo knows. down more than me. See, he knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he had, he had a good read. You were full crouch here, so he's like anticipating. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah, when you're. Let's go. Hey, go ahead. Uh, I'll tell you next time. When you roll out, throw your mine as early as possible to get to that side. Even if it's right, too gotcha, far gotcha. where you can't jump on it, okay. like you throw it to the doorway instantly when you spawn. Okay, you okay. know you're gonna jump on it later, right? And gotcha. So yeah, I guess the cooldown cool faster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's not cooling down, you're not using it. 
So I would get up and look here. for a hiding spot and a trap here, right? Maybe bottom left is nice. Or don't, don't trap all Maybe trap somewhere up here on the high ground. Oh, this is a great angle, actually. This is nice guys oh. too. I love this, but you can shoot over the over the stairs here when you wait. Yeah, yeah, like this, right? But I think, yeah, I think their Junkrat's going to come too. Just hard spam. Hard spam forever. And ready for their Junkrat to shoot you. You might have to dodge. Okay. And if somebody doesn't, if they turn their back on you, you're comboing them. Yeah. I don't think they're coming. Okay, okay nice. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. This is like your strongest positions on Junkrat is when they have to push into like a very annoying spam. Nice. Just chilling on that. I try to I try to sometimes use the mine for things like that where I'm like let me get a little bit of a high ground so I can look at them better but is that like wasteful no, oh yeah no, that's not good that's not good okay they, you don't want it they will look at you a hell of a lot better than you will look at them okay okay yeah. so avoid that Almost okay always. the only time I would do something like that is if people are comboed so I will jump up to like kill people up in a flux I will jump up to like land in a grab and and nuke them in a grab but I would never, I won't, I won't just jump up. I'll always be jumping in to do something. Like I might be jumping okay. in for a kill, but I'll never, jumping up in the air is just asking to die to anything else. So here, like there's not really, sorry, just here, there's not really an angle that's easy. Yeah, just spam. Like... Somebody's got to push guard. Oh, You're nice. just chilling here. Yeah, yeah, just, just chill and spam. Like your team should push, I mean, no one's on car. You should touch guard, like honestly. Actually, that's another point on Junkrat. You can push car a lot because you know how like like supports push car because they can still mm -hmm. heal. Mm -hmm. You can still, you can still spam, car, gotcha. right? Yeah. Because you can still spam. One other thing is spam. Don't spam exactly the same angle over and over again. Just do like, right. even if you don't know what you're shooting at, go like left, right, left, right. Yeah, like this. Because nine times out of ten, if you spam with, like the same angle, it's like oh, it's very easy to dodge, right? Because it literally bounces the same way. Here, look for a trade on somebody, or just run away. Oh, too high, too high. Too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You can also comp where if you throw it more sideways, you don't go up, really. Okay. If you throw it, like, at head height on the wall, you'll go, like, it won't take you that far, but it'll be, like, a tracer blank. Okay. So that, that'll help you, like, cross. Like, see, the floor is gonna... But this is fine. I mean, here, it's not gonna cover. Do I tire here? Mm, honestly, this is a very hard place to tire. I would try to... Oh, these above you, above you, chunk over here. Oh, I didn't hear him. Keep fighting, don't tire, don't tire. The tire you want to use to close this point out, especially since you guys are winning this fight. There's Arya in here. Ah. So maybe I should throw it to the side, because my instinct at the moment is well, throw it on the floor, but... That's a spot where, exactly, you throw it at, like, try to headshot the Zarya with it, if that makes sense. Gotcha, so And like, then it'll bounce like you that. straight back, exactly, exactly. It won't give you that much distance, but it will, especially if you're not, if you're, like, off the ground, it'll actually be pretty good. Okay, so your team... You might have to, you have to turn around. I've got you in my sights. Yeah, they have to turn around, so it's fun. Oh, shit. I thought Mazari would have got a touch there. No, I mean, you can't win this fight. Okay. Okay. It was pretty far. I think it's a winnable push. Not bad for offense, drunk guy. Honestly, this is better than expected on this map. So I'm, it's a lot of like playing around corners now. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, yeah. So on defense, things are a little bit different because you don't have to push right on defense. Generally speaking, you, you can, you're like letting them push into you. So a lot of it is going to be the hero. I think the biggest thing I'm thinking about is the enemy tank. Mm -hmm. um, like, is it is it a good hero to be spamming? There's heroes like Reinhardt that hate being spammed or that like not hate being spammed but like that are super easy to spam and you're gonna hit every single shot and you're a very very good hero at like breaking Reinhardt's shield and like mm -hmm. limiting how much resource he has so spamming Reinhardt is really good but if they play a hero like Zarya I'm gonna be like permanently hiding on corners going for one shot gotcha you know or even a hero like Sigma if he puts his shield I might spam it but like I'm not trying to shoot that hero you know he's gonna eat my damage and get HP I'm like it's like a waste of time so a lot it's a lot of hiding on corners but you have to balance it with also some spamming because if you literally spend the whole game hiding yeah it becomes predictable it becomes predictable certain heroes also like don't care like certain tanks like if it's a Rissa he's gonna roll around this corner and just fucking kill you you know like mm -hmm. so it's gonna depend on the heroes if they can punish you on the corner usually what I'll do is I'll start by spamming um, and then because I want to show it. presence and then I'll try and find little windows in the fight where like, oh, like they all hid for a second. I'm going to immediately start walking to the fight and set up on a, like, I think they're going to rotate. I want to catch that. Do I go for a little peek here? Do I can retreat? Yeah, yeah, yeah go, for one, go for one, go for one. Go for one and then back off. Just go for one. He knows. It's fine. 
leave. And then keep spamming. The monkey so is a very spin, good hero yeah. to break his shield. Breaking Winston Bubble is a very high priority for you. Okay. Because you can do it way faster than most heroes in the game. Even though you don't kill Winston, like, shields are just an incredibly good thing to shoot on this grab. A lot of them. Gotcha. Do you want to put this maybe here just to gatekeep the... Um, you could... Oh, he trapped, he trapped. Oh, I whiffed. But that's exactly what I was trying to think about. Right? I was like, if it's he flanks... It's not bad, but the way you put the... You should put the trap right around the corner if you want to do that. Nice. Good push, good push. He's still here. Nice, and help your team in the main. Maybe you can... Oh, they're, they're trying to fight you here. Yeah, play safe. Maybe jump out. Oh, wait. No, you're on it. Ooh, my goodness. That was close. That was scary. All right, all right. To go back to the right, you don't want to be yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The right is your home, and you want to prevent yeah. the other junk crap from taking from taking a single. So put it right on the corner, like he, left, 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 or, or either this like corner here? or here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also save constant tracer by oh, just just melee, button. yeah, like left click melee, yeah. yeah. Small, small thing there, but so you always want the trap to be on a hard corner, like oh, just yeah, like around a hard super corner, super tight like, like that. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Because if it's like. The last one you put down, the one was an open, it only got him because he was literally there right as you threw it. But see, it's okay if Trace sees it, now you know. Yeah, now it's like a flank. I like traps like this too. Fighting on top of your trap is really annoying. Because it means the Tracer cannot like, melee you. Or, yeah, that's what I was thinking. All. So, putting the trap down and fighting on top of it is not bad. It also tanks a little bit for you. But... I think the Tracer is gone now. So yeah, she switched to Farah. So do I, okay, not as far. Do I change my approach? Maybe it's a little I'm gonna see, like, trap right here, here. Maybe I'd hide. Yeah, yeah, the trap is fine. And then maybe I'd look for a one shot on somebody here. Like the late in the round, right? This is the perfect timing to go for these plays because it's like people forget about you. No. It's not. It's not bad. And then they nano. Damn. So you just kite that. Yeah, nano junk guard is very scary for you, but it's useless, I guess, if you just kite him. Okay, go back to flanking. Maybe go for that cheeky attempt again. Yeah, you could look for it again. I mean, you just did a last fight, though, so I'd probably be they like less. Know. Like, yeah. Right now, your, your tire knows. is the only ult. Yeah, your tire is the only ult, so I would I would just set up for tire. So I'd be around this corner. Um, just spam as much as you can, and then when they get close, you're tiring, and you want to kill Sig. Sig is the okay. first tire when he walks up. And back up a little. Okay, that's fine. Go for Sig. Go for Sig. Nice. And just watch your life here. There you go. Oh, I had a feeling you'd come for that. Yeah, usually after you tire, like when when Junkrat's tire, it's like a you gotta remember you're losing all your map control. Um, what I was gonna say was I wanted to have you back up to like you know the car around the corner there. Uh -huh, That's uh -huh. where I would have tired from. Because like and then that when you're tired, you have to think about your vulnerability. Like you're so vulnerable when you're tired. Sure. Right? So even if it had been like Farah, she could have swung around the corner in the air, maybe spammed you there. But so you want to like grab yeah, a little bit that. of cover before you tire. Jump up and kill the far. Nice. Very good hero to jump into the air again. Yeah, look for a kill on the back one. He's on, he's on. Ah, I just heard it too late. Right. We get one more touch here. What we got? Maybe flux. Um, yeah, you probably do. Maybe. You should give Kiriko TP. Give Kiriko TP. Okay, that's chill. Oh, she's just okay. taking that. <laughs> it's okay. That's a huge mistake for that. I mean, that's not your fault. For sure, that is not correct. Oh, just run away. Just jump away. Okay, you got that. Bait the trap. Bait the trap. Nice. 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 You're still stalling. I don't think you can play it. Just go for it. Yeah. Right. So they're on fire at Mercy. This is a little bit of a slight issue for you, but honestly, their comp is so bad. Like you have so many hits can on your team that you'll be fine here. This is like kind of a yeah. Problem. This is this is EU as well, by the way, Jake. So the propensity for fire Mercy is very high. People love that shit. People your love fire Mercy. Chain staggering, which is a big problem. If you, if you keep chain staggering, you will have trouble. So I would not go past this doorway. Play the yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna spam um, here. Hopefully, maybe control this. Spam fallback if you have that map. <laughs> I'm really worried one of these two is going to die. Yeah, She's yeah, trapped, I think. This is so sketchy. This is so sketchy. Oh, God, whatever. The 
fire is probably around here. He's in this dead line. Oh, yo, yo, just focus on dodging. Oof. When you're fighting the enemy jump rat, just. What, just literally, I'm telling you, the secret is just brain dead spam. Like, don't think about your aim at all. <laughs> all right. I mean, like, you just try your best, but like, watch. Just literally, your whole mind should be like, look at his bombs and dots. Like, okay. You don't. The aim is like a total mind game because you're just like spamming and you, know, you can dodge every shot. So if you just live and dodge shots, and your teammates can get kill, or you can look, you need to look for trades here. I almost got tired. Maybe I don't want to play for tire. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you can find a tire. It's so hard to one v five tire though. I think you guys lost this point, honestly, but it's kind, of a, it's kind of a close call whether you should go for it or not. Honestly, it's probably really hard to tire here, since you don't have anyone to touch car. If your diva is going to touch car, I would go for it. Oh, she stopped. Fuck it. Wait, we stopped. Oh. Alright, now you're playing to win the fight. Now you're playing to win the fight. Try not to die. You can hold them here for a long time. If you know that. Huge, huge, huge. Now you kill them all. Nice, nice. All, All right. right, so put your trap, put your trap somewhere like downstairs is by the way an extremely good trap. Right, you see those right. stairs? Put it at the yeah, bottom yeah, of those yeah, stairs. Yeah, they won't you, see it. You. It's it's an extremely because it looks like it's open, but it's not. Oh, it fucking hits it's the. My team is like, not, not here. Four seven. Yeah, I don't know where. So I'm like, I just have to back up. That I don't Wait, know. Literally, where. didn't you kill them all? Where are they? They're teammates? fucking in oh. in point B. Okay. Did they? I think they thought it was fucking didn't cap. I think they thought it didn't cap. There's no way, bro. What they went into left? fucking deep point B. You guys are the best fucking in the game, and your team is. What? Okay, oh my goodness. A skill issue there. That's not your fault. What the fuck? I suddenly right, was like, why am I so alone? Yeah, I was like that. I was confused too. I wouldn't have backed off. I would have been like so convinced we were gonna spawn game. I wouldn't even thought to look at my teammates. Okay, maybe play from here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad. The junk rat's under you. Like, yeah. This, you know? Oh, crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stagger kills. Yeah, I'd look for a fight, you know, so you want to get a trade off. Can maybe sneak up on somebody here. This okay, room on the left is not a bad spot. Yeah, yeah. I, I would, yeah, go for your kills. They know you're here. He's behind you, he's behind you. Oh, trap. Maybe you can peek from the top. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Not a bad option. Watch for the other jungle to spam you. It's easy to shoot back. Oh, oh wow. And Zen. Okay. Conk into the Zen hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One thing was when, when there's uh, D.Va, you want to conk like right before the bomb goes off. Like. Oh, like if they're D.Va? Or no, our diva, our diva. So like our diva bomb. Oh, so you like push, chuck you them just, up in the just, air. Just gotcha. YOLO conk people when the bomb goes up. Yeah, giving them a ping of where it is at least. See that what the jungler doing is actually really good. Like he's on attack, but he moves up when he gets an opportunity, and then he just holds down a weird room that he thinks that you want to push into, and then it's like you basically can't push into that. So he just like anticipated you well. Yeah, I feel like I'm dealing with a more seasoned junk rat. Yeah, this guy knows what he's doing. He's got like a more his playstyle is like he's, he's, he's doing the right thing actually. Uh, I mean, it's your team. I think you honestly would have won if your team just didn't grieve for this fucking so hard. <laughs> I need to see what happened. I want to see where they that, went. Actually. That is a little bit out of control. Were they chasing a kill? Even then, it's pretty unforgivable. I want to see what happened. Just out of curiosity. If you were right and they didn't realize that the cap went off, it's like, bro, the door's open, man. That shit is like very obvious. That's my best explanation for like why they were where they were. We actually held oh, for quite a while. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me just... Okay, no, okay, they're chasing they're someone. They're chasing, they chasing far, the far out. It's just like an irrelevant, irrelevant kill. And they're hard chasing you. Does everyone go? Their whole, your whole team is chasing a far. Look at this guy. What, what is happening? Why are we doing... Look, why is this? What, why is the Ana there, bro? Why? This is what I'm thinking. Like, why I feel like they think it's second point. Yeah, like, look at no. where they're set up. 
they're, they're I guess they're chasing the kill, but this is, I mean, this is unforgivably bad. To have, to have Ana and Ash here is like absurd. Honestly, D.Va should never chase this kill either. Like the far being here is so irrelevant. Oh boy. All right, we've, yeah, we've, we solved a mystery. That's a, that's a mystery. It's still a mystery actually. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it will now and forever be. Okay, so yeah, so so with like trap positionings, for example, you're saying that like basically always hard on the corner because sometimes I try to put them like in the middle of a doorway, but I, I'm sensing that's bad actually. So the middle of the doorway, there are different purposes, right? Like the, here. the ones on the corner, like this trap is not for surprising people and killing them. This is for like zoning a tank mm -hmm. or a tracer mm -hmm. or Genji. So like when I'm against like Ball, Doom, um, Winston, um, stuff like that i might put traps like this or even even tracer honestly sometimes i'll put a trap like this and i'll like play on top of the trap and then it means tracer can't like blink past me so it's just a lot harder for her to fight me or like um, a genji right like he can't dash at you he has to like yeah he can't dash at you because you've got a trap down you play right on top of the trap it just makes it harder for them to play a little bit mm -hmm. but the traps that are like you actually want to kill somebody like like you're holding like you want them to come on a flank you want to put it just around the corner like like look look at the trap from around the corner here you want it to, this is one that you, like, you want them not to see it, so they walk okay. into it, right? That's, like, the key. Um, so, like, just hug the corner. Yeah, yeah. So, if they're, like, oh, shit. Or yeah. should I be even lower? Yeah, let's try that, a normal that, like that, That's fine. That's fine, honestly. Also, I, I would say the bottom of stairs is, like, a very underrated trap spot. Like, mm -hmm. any, yeah, any stairs. Yeah, because the slope, they don't you, see Because visually, it. you don't see down the slopes, right? So, mm -hmm. like, putting it just below or it doesn't even have to be like at the bottom it just like anywhere like not on the top of the stairs like just a little bit down Select people will walk into those a lot um yeah just that's like a, if, as long as they're coming from the high ground to the low ground it's very good another thing to do by the way is to like when you you can jump in on people um not on havana is just not a good map for it but on yeah. a lot of maps you can like jump up to high ground and try and kill people and usually what i'll do is i'll I'm jumping up. The first thing I do is throw a trap, and then I look for kills. So okay. I jump up, I throw my trap just like at them, and then I'm going for kills as I land. Mm. And that trap is just like the best trap is the one you just placed because people just like aren't looking at it. And if you're up in the air, they're really not looking at it because they're looking at you. So like that much, you know, it's like a better odds when you're running the trap. And try to think about when you're placing the trap when you are throwing it. You're trying to throw it ideally into a choke or just some place they're likely to go when they see you jump up. Okay. Um, so here, you're gonna go high. You're gonna go in the little room. Um, left, left, bottom left is your is your zone here probably. This, this like area of the map. Mm -hmm. And then you can, there's Arya. Careful spamming. Shoot one shot at a time against Arya's by the way, so you never give her full energy. So like. Oh, I'll try to go over the top there. Yeah. Yeah. I like people armor aim over her head. Use it's actually a very bad combo to play in here. As long as it's Arya. So. Got him. Uh, I would. <laughs> what the fuck? The map dies then. Understood. Understood. Right. <laughs> All right, so this is a good moment. Just... Good moment. You push up to this high ground. Put mm -hmm. a trap. Um, I would put it like in in here around the corner. Yeah, like maybe here on the corner. And I put a mine on that too, since that okay. I might not be able to follow this one up. And then I would hide on a corner here. Like go around. Okay. Yeah, around. I feel like I want to drop this. So keep keep spamming the high ground. Like like you know they're gonna walk on the high ground. And stuff. And if you have to conk, don't worry about it. Yeah, okay. Playing point is fine. Yeah, I like that trap a lot. Trying to always always shoot, ideally, their least mobile target. So I think in this comp, it's their bath is the one you want to spam the most. Sorry, he's out of bubbles now. Genji here. Not bad, not bad. Now put a trap, put a trap right here. And now I just bath. Now I would start pressuring the Zarya. I think she's running one CDs. And so, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Always, whenever I'm like, every time I'm like, somebody's not looking at me and close to them, I'm always throwing a trap at them. Because like, when people aren't looking at you and you're behind them, I mean, the trap is actually your strongest ability. On your right. So that one they found last time, I would shake it up and yeah, try it in this choke position. you're standing in. I would yeah, put it here, in the one you're standing definitely. in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Especially now he found. thinks. Yeah, I don't mind He thinks that he's seen it. And also, I'd be hiding close for a tire here. But like you, the thing here? is, actually, it's very hard to tire. Be aware. You need to get uh, Zarya bubbles out or drawn out. Just jump up, jump up, and come. Yeah. It's one of those things where you can be like a little bit like 
instantly reacting when you see the trap mm. and instantly It took me out. a moment to process. Like, I was like, what should I do to the trap there? I didn't have a yeah, 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 yeah. That's a time you can jump up in the air, actually, because they're stuck. Keep shooting Jara. That drone. You can keep shooting Jara. Keep shooting Jara. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I, I tried to tire, but I did, couldn't tire. Oh, I don't... I don't think that's a good attire there anymore. Okay, okay. I was like, fuck it. In the grab, in the grab, it's like, you're probably getting your tire broken. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because it, it only has 100 HP and they're already shooting you. And the grab is going to deal a little damage. So, I I would rarely tire in a grab, honestly. Oh, yeah, I would right. just keep shooting and going for kill. Especially because there's Zarya was low. You can also, like, conk her so, so she's, like, confused. staying around the corner. Why didn't they touch? You have a text-to-speech thing. It's in the, it's one of the settings in Overwatch, actually. I'll turn it oh, off for now. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. It's Holy quite funny. Shit, it sets for some quite amusing I didn't interactions. know that, that existed. That's legendary. Yeah, they didn't really make much of a thing about it, but it's there. It's quite funny. Yeah, I'm going to use that. Yeah, it's, it's genuinely quite hilarious. Yeah, especially when people type on hit shit. This is yeah, a pretty like, map. Yeah, okay. So where, where would you want to play here, right? I think you I actually think have two options. Left side is like the standard. Oh, especially if they have Echo. You basically have to play left, actually. Never mind. Mm -hmm. But you can also play on all the pillars on the right. It's kind of okay. So do this. Okay, okay, go for the Widow. Walk up and try and jump on the Widow here. I think. Oh, he walked in. Oh, my he God. I absolutely read that you guy. got smoke. But if you get healed, try and try and jump up on the Widow right now. Right now, while your Diva's going for plays. Oh, he got the buy shot on you. I didn't have another conk as well, so that's my bad for not having yeah. that. Because it's there, maybe I combo her if I have it. Yeah, honestly, she hit the buy shot on you. But Widow is a huge problem for you on Jackrat. Right? Widow is like the best. Widow is like as good, I would say, as like Echo and Farah at countering you. Mm -hmm. um, just because she's insanely good at breaking tire and she naturally plays very far from you, and so she doesn't come to quarters for you. There he is, power punch, I think. Against, and by the way, it's a superhero you do want to have the trap in like the middle of the open. Yeah, kind of. yeah, so you can't punch through. Yeah, on the middle way. Yeah, that's very hard to peek. Do I, am I okay revealing myself here or like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know where you are, they would already know. Unfortunately, you can put traps on top of sleeping Yeah, targets. sleeping targets, yeah. And they, they get like guaranteed slept. Oh. I didn't anticipate for that. I didn't know you had a power punch either. Yeah, you're too good. Junkrat is also a pretty egregious power punch. Yeah, player. yeah. Also, something like this comment is pretty hard to play against. The Widow, Widow is a massive problem for you on a good bit of Because like, you can't, you can't jump up in the air. She never comes close to you. So you can't combo her. She's basically just like a god hero for you. That's why I wanted you to sneak up on her and jump on her in the first fight. Is mm. to like, to like take that's her out one of the play. only things you can do is kill her by, by sneaking up on her. But honestly, a soldier is also scary for you. So, hit skin heroes in general are almost as good as the flyers at countering. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Okay, this is nice. Combo with your diva. <laughs> oh, you can chase me. You're desperate, so you kind of have to go for it. Yeah, like I gotta just trade anything I can trade. Yeah, you gotta find. I mean, it's this is rough. So I just run away here. That's what you're doing. Oh my god, the widow is feasting. Okay, this is just this is not. Yeah, 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 they're just all hits again. <laughs> Darn. Not our map. No, no, no. Definitely not your map. Okay, okay. Score. Yeah, so you want to kind of like, if there is like, the, the best thing you can do is establish an early advantage and maybe just try and trade for them as well as, as whenever you can. Yeah, honestly, that comp is just super hard because uh, it's an open map and they're they're all on hitscan heroes. So like, you can't win a 1v1 with anybody and everyone is going to fight you at long range. Like, you're not getting any of the close range fights you want. If you win the mid fight, that changes a lot because now you can hold corners and you can make them push up into you and like then it becomes a lot less bad but losing the mid fight is like super painful on a comp like that like you'll never i mean retaking into widow is like impossible you you just have to hope your teammates get widow honestly on the replay so like you can't really do that play room again right yeah i would think about putting a trap in the open since it's a doomfist 
and just dancing on it is nice. People I also sometimes go, don't so. see the trap. Yeah, he's spamming the room on the left. Breaking drone is very good for you, by the way, on Junkrat, since you do it so easily. You can move melee as well to break it really fast. Alright, so like, what, primary melee, basically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just shoot. Usually, what I'll, often what I'll do as Junk is just one shot at it, because I'm like, man, my team is probably gonna finish it. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. By myself, then I might have to shoot both. The Doom's gonna go. Yeah, I. Mean, Playing actually... these corners is nice, though. Oh! But yeah, you want to be very, like, very careful not peeking the corner, really. Mm -hmm. You just want to full hide from, from them. Yeah, Kronk like this in the raw, that's really good. Um, I'm just going to wait. I think we're dead. Yeah, against Doom, by the way, yeah, be very cautious with spam. It's it's almost even worse than Zarya. If you, like, you'll give him a power punch. I think one shot does it. Maybe not exactly one shot, but... Healing Paimon. Lucio doesn't know your eyes are all Yeah, it's, it's, it's Lucio Iliari, so. Like, maybe you can play top right here. Oh, who has fucking go? Yeah, that's the go? Maybe go, yeah, top right, and then maybe you can spam from here. Doom is gonna go on you here, though, probably, so you gotta be ready to. You can jump away from Doom as another option. Right, good, good point. Good point. Boom. There we go, baby. Riding, baby. Ride it up. That's how to do it. Yeah, yeah. So top right is also a good option here. Here? Okay. This trap I don't love because no one's going to go there. I would put it, like, right at the top of the stairs. Sometimes people don't clear. On the end of the... Oh, yeah, I'm going to back up here. So maybe, like, here? Or maybe here? Uh, I would put it in this door. This door is a nice one, actually. Because people come around and go for the pills without looking at it. I lose just kind of drawing Fine. people. Just crouch, crouch, right? Though. Like shooting up like that is really bad. Like you're never okay, hitting okay. anything and you're giving a position. Now look for the soldier go behind him. Ideally, there I would have approached from behind. Since... I thought he was gonna chase me around here, so that's what's trying to like. Yeah, he didn't. I don't think he knew where you were. You can peek up. I think you're gonna be Oh, so we care power punch on the Doom. I think he's gonna power punch block it. I'm always like very cautious shooting dooms so because I really don't want to give a power mm -hmm. punch. Uh, now you're just thinking about setting up for tire. So whenever I'm setting up for tire, oh he's trying to jump. Um, I'm I'm hiding where so I'll I'm be gonna hide and or very not. close to them. Yeah, this is more risky, but like yeah yeah. So care with it. All right, tire right now, and then go behind probably. Oh, I rushed it. Nah, it's okay. I think you had to. They have window visor. Like, I think what you did actually the right thing is going in for a kill at that moment. If you hit the combo here, you better kill people. Mm -hmm. So I don't worry about That's like a mechanical mistake. Like, you had an yeah, opportunity yeah. to hit your combo one shot, you probably played well. If you even had a chance, it means you were, you were, you set yourself up to have a chance. Um, yeah. You know, versus if you miss the combos, I'm like, I don't care at all because it's like, well, obviously, like, I'm not going to criticize you for missing a shot. You jump in. We're on Zen Lucio now, as if it couldn't get worse. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit of a uh, yikes. I mean, you have a lot of damage. You have a lot of fucking damage. So maybe they can. Okay, then. Yeah, you guys are Yeah, traps like that, really good, really good. Because, like, a Doom could have easily walked in on that. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't great. realize. Let's go. Maybe go high ground now, top right. You can add a little mix up instead of attacking okay, okay. the same way as your team. Gotcha, gotcha. You can even jump past them, honestly. Oh, Lucio, wait a minute, he's the goat. Now flank back line again, flank back line again. Like the Play this corner. Not bad, yeah, they're gonna push up, so. Yo, let's go. Okay. Nice. Yeah, basically the map where it was really bad for us was just just chucked. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That's like yeah. a just don't play junk right? <laughs> like type spot. Like on the mid fight, it's kind of okay, right? The real issue for junk rat is like retaking open space. Mm. Like if it, it you know, it, when the enemy is pushing into you, you'll have them like even on an open map, there will be some kind of corner you can play. But the right. problem is when the enemy just won't turn the corner and they're just sitting really far away watching the corner, you have to turn the corner and that's mm. like impossible for you. Yeah, that's what I found is like these certain situations like like Route 66 or something, right? They're like kind of sat up 
on the high ground. They're spamming you on all the entrances. It's like nearly impossible to get across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that what I would do on maps like Route 66, if the enemy's on like a bunch of high grounds, is I would just jump in and suicide over and over again, going for mm -hmm. one shot kills. Mm -hmm. I like if I'm gonna play jump right over and over again, like I'll, I'll ideally I'll come from like an unexpected angle, like right below them so they don't see me. Um, or from behind them or something, but I'll try and time it for when my team is like doing something and then I'll just jump in and go for kills or if my team's popping mm -hmm. ults I'll jump in and go for kills and I'll just like mm -hmm. Not value my life at all, but that doesn't work on Long maps it works on tall maps so that works on six that could be okay if you can like cross into the, some of those buildings and then like kind of hang out and be tricky for a while um, and then you know go on to like do a jump in and go for a kill on somebody um, Sometimes you want to like time delay your flank. So like you might cross into the flank on 66 and then start like spamming the guy on car for a little bit from like an off angle from like under his teammates. And then like maybe a little bit later, I'll like jump up on top of them and try and try and combo mm. people. So it's like but, you're kind of like, yeah, you're kind of playing a lot of mind games with these junk, right? You're trying to like yeah. get in their head, surprise them. You don't want the enemy to them. know where you're coming from. If they, if they see you, you should just assume when you peek an enemy and they see you that they're going to be like standing there watching the corner for you. Mm -hmm. and, then, and you don't you don't push that so like for instance like when you were top left and you had been like up there for a while spamming they it's like you should just know that they know exactly where you are and they're watching mm -hmm. the corner and then so if it were me i'd be like really carefully hugging the wall i would be like very conservative with peeking mm -hmm. because i know they know where i am and so it's like that's okay it's like you're making a decision is it better for me to like spam and, and put a lot of presence out on the map right now because like in some spots if you're aggressive you're forward um, and you're like able to spam some effective stuff or, or somebody comes to fight you and you fight them And so everyone knows where you are now because you make a lot of noise Then it's like you're still holding that position, but you don't have to worry about stealth anymore um, and, But but you are you do have to be just very cautious because like you can't win o fights in the open, right? That, that's like in the end That's like the biggest issue for Junkrat is he can't win fights in the open against um, Almost any other DPS hero or, or almost any hero in the game can like mm. win a 1v1 in an open area what makes you good is just watching oh. people around corners. Speak of the well, devil. Actually, about I think it. this map, in my opinion, is not, not that bad, actually. Mm -hmm. It's kind of bad, but it's not... It's probably better than Havana for me. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, yeah, we two out of three, we've had Havana and Rooster 6, so we're ready. So I mean, it's good, though. Your opening play, by the way, I do this probably every time on 66. Well, all right, if there's spawn camping, you have to, like, clear the spawn camp. I, people don't really do that in rank. Um, so, pretty much what you want to do is... Um, is spam from car for a second like shoot over the high ground and like spam you know you mean like, like talking like about the corner, the corner the first corner, corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i'm assuming they won't fight before the corner mm -hmm. if they do then you'll you're actually very good at like clearing the train you can like spam into the train without seeing it and stuff um, but people don't i mean if they do i'll be very surprised people just don't do that rank maybe they peek a little so you might want to walk up hug the left wall when you walk up just so you're like a little bit safe um so the opening play i'll make is like there's another thing you do is like before sorry before the spam when they don't know your junk rat because it's not 15 seconds in the round you have an opportunity to go for like a more aggressive play and so i'll crouch walk through the mega room and try and combo somebody on the high ground immediately and then run away. okay yes 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 right off the rip and i'll full crouch and don't spam at all before you do that right, don't you don't shoot. want yeah. them to know you're on junk rat. yeah so right now you don't have to crouch you just hug the left wall they have they know it's winston might see but he won't tell his teammates because it's ranked. Yeah, yeah. um so just yeah, and then, yeah, start crouching now. And then you're going to walk out and just look for a combo and run away. Yeah, right here, right here, right here. Fuck. All right, run away, run away, run away. Nice, nice. See, like, you actually did a lot here, right? Like, you you did, even though you didn't, you, you know, obviously better to hit the combo there. Um, you, you still bounce them around. Somebody just needs to push car. So, honestly, right here, i just be pushing car. Maybe put this trap oh, really? here is good. Put a trap somewhere here is, is not bad. But on this map, you can push car and continue to spam the choke from car. So you are unique as a DPS in that you can almost always be spamming no matter where you are on the map. Keep spamming top, keep spamming top. Your team has bottom. Okay, okay. You, you want to zone control with your spam. Okay. If they... Oh. Yeah, see, like... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, your whole team is bottom. You generally don't want to spam where your team already is. Oh, my God. Oh, drop under. It's hard for the chase. One thing I do when people are chasing me is I try to drop into cubbies and like play the cubby. Gotcha, gotcha. Reaper. Gonna, you can kill him. Nice, nice, 
bad here. Just spam. You don't have to like walk up on this either. Like you can okay. stay on the. If it were me, I'd be like on that corner when you jump up. And, and I just stay yeah, yeah, ADing that corner. Right, right. Just AD the corner and spam, spam, spam. And like, if you get kills, you get kills. But like, that's such a dominant spam angle. The most important, especially when you're shooting a tank who you're not comboing, the most important thing is just being efficient with your health. Nice. Oh, you can jump around this. Yeah. Um, be careful in this position. You're very exposed to hit scan. I like that trap. I would like go back to the, the corner you're on, like ready to drop. Because if they, if anything, okay, okay. like Comes a hit scan up, will yeah. you if they go wide here. So you want to be ready to run. So you have cover. And conking away is very dangerous. Just yeah, keep spamming here. Not, yeah, honestly, this is like super annoying for them what you're doing. Especially because you're still getting <laughs> hit markers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like people will like wait out your spam. Not, I'm not gonna recommend you do this in this rank because it's just like there's no way. Yeah, yeah, they can, they'll count but, the ammo. Yeah. But but the old trick I used to do is reload on four um, because people think you're gonna shoot five, and so they um, so they like miss time the, the walk. Yeah, yeah. Counting. Or you can space your shots, like delaying a shot. Yeah, like one, two, and then one, two, and like, then, yeah. Or, or, like, usually I would, you really want to spam a lot, so I would only ever delay, like, one shot in the mag. Or, or only reload one shot early. Because you, in the end, you just want crazy coverage. Right here, I would be getting right, um, maybe going to the spawn. Just get in a safe spot for tire. The old spawn, I mean. It's probably oh. the spot for tire. Uh, on the right, on the right. Oh, yeah, there, yeah, there, there, there. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. They're walking out lower, I think, so... I would just tire here with the back line. See, I don't like this bug because you're like very close, but it's okay. That's soldier. So like, yeah, yeah, I, super, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. The, if you were anticipated the need to tire, you could have been there early. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so that you can tire exactly what you want. Hopefully your team can budge. They might be able to. Be able to Do I play like under? Go from under, maybe. If you can cross the flank right now, be good. But I don't think you can. I think you can stay your team. Yeah. Going alone, you'll just die. So. Just spamming. At this point, like when when you're just in the choke, you're there's no reason to hide. So just like spamming where you're spamming, like base some skills. You know, that's fine. And then when you're wanting to cross these sounds, it's okay because they're not peeking. But you can mm -hmm. also do the conk, side conk thing just to cross a little bit more safely. Mm -hmm. So here I'd be playing in the room. I wouldn't go with the dash. I'd be okay. playing in here and looking for okay. kills on car. Maybe spam this hog. Yeah. Although I, I would. Okay, he's gonna peek here. Hog's gonna peek here. Keep abusing the corner on him. If you pick this corner, it's the arsenal for two man. Yeah, you can die. Oh, almost. If your team is really bad. If I were me, like, it's very likely he's gonna push there. So I'd be like, please yeah. spamming the doorway. Twenty-four-seven. Nah, gotcha. Okay. So as I'm walking back, I'm like, yeah, high angle spamming, always perfect. Yeah, got something. Yeah. Don't be spam the soldier here on the right. Just want to maybe make sure nobody comes through there. Okay, I was gonna cross that. Again, I should have gone for the head height bonk, but yeah. Nah, yeah, yeah, it's fine. It just depends on. I'm a bit worried about the hog coming through here. Honestly, yeah, your team is okay. Now you gotta kill. Do I go on that guy? Like just yolo on him? Honestly, I, yeah, I would. It's like one. It's like a skill check mechanical thing. Like, do you go? It's like on Widow. Do you go for jump shots or do you? Like if you're really good at Widow, you probably go for jump shots. But the more you, and the more you play, the more you'll take those risks. Keep walking up on the left angle. Oh, I thought maybe tire time. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Heroes never die. Looking for the squishies. Nah, it's gonna run out. L gonna... A little. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just a little bit. Usually, I don't like the tire if we're winning the fight. That's the biggest thing. There. Right. Like. You could always push up and then tire it later. Decided to do. Tune is very strong for you to turn play in it. Very scary. Okay. Let's 
So yeah, is it like, is it just trying to constantly get the truck here, or are you playing the right side, or it varies? Um, honestly, right is good. I think the hard thing is like in the end, crossing the open space is just hard. Um, the right route, I, number one, you just gotta wait for your team though, because this is any spot that's like bad for you, that's like open space to cross. You have to let your team make some kind of space and then go for something. So like my here, I might, I might just walk up and like look for something on the car. You can also jump at this on it. Like people who don't know you're here, I would jump at them. Fuck. I didn't get the mail the primary off before the call. Yeah, yeah. You, I don't you, know what happened. Primary too late. I think. Yeah. Also, I should have probably thrown a trap at her, right? Like you said. Yeah. Honestly, when you're going for a solo kill like that, and they they they're gonna react as soon as you jump, right? So your trap it might be unlikely to hit, versus um, just going for your. Combo. I gave myself away there, but yeah. Usually what I might do when I'm jumping at somebody like that is I'll shoot a few primaries. Because I'm, I'm less reliant on actually one hit comboing them since they're alone. And it's, I'm more okay with like trying a couple times than talking to finish them. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you can wait for your team to make some kind of space. You're like zoning hog. Pretty good. He is very scary though, so you gotta yeah, that's good. Like him being here and, and you farming tire on him is like really bad for him, really good for you. I would just hide the tire right now. Last fight. Oh, okay, okay. You just, wanna, you just wanna make sure you get your tire up. Fuck. Yeah, here's fine. I'm dead, but. You're dead for him. Now you just take your time with the tire. Nice. Yeah. The last fight is like, I mean, it's just easy to get your ult off, so. Nice, You're nice. Like less, less concerned with being efficient. It's also, okay. it's kind of okay to die for tire sometimes. But yeah, ideally you're like, for me in that fight, as I'm set, as I'm walking up, it's like, after I farm that hog and, and you were like basically having tire, I would just be like, kind of going Only to the position I want to tire from, right? Mm. I'm like pre-walking there. If I'm spamming, I'm like not caring about my spam. I'm just like, whatever, I'll shoot my gun. But I'm I'm thinking about, I need to be in the spot I'm gonna press my tire at. So for gotcha. me in that, in that map, it would have been like the, where you, from where you were, it would have been like, you know, the little hallway near where you are that there's mm. nothing in it, but it's just like an empty hallway. But like, uh, from like, the attack, from the attacker side, that it's one? like, uh, yeah, from the attacker side, if you were going to walk the stairs to the truck, but yeah. instead you turn left, there's like okay. a little L, L hallway there. And that's, so you really want these like just tiny cubbies. Like for instance, when you, when you're tiring in the spawn there, I would have come around into the little corner. Yeah. Of the yeah. Spawn. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like, like the one did it right behind because... the propane wall. Yeah, yeah, I did hear because I was like, shit, I got a tire, and like the timing of the tire is too important. Like, otherwise yeah, exactly, you exactly. Want. So, so that's why, if I'm, if it's like a last fight and I'm wanting to tire, I'm standing within like two seconds walking distance of my mm -hmm. position that I'm gonna tire from, mm -hmm. and then so I'm doing whatever I'm spamming if I want to while I'm waiting for the timing for the tire, and then I'm, I'm immediately like I'm just really close to where I need to be so that. Yes, the timing is crucial, and I'm not messing it up because I'm already where I need to be to press it. Do we double stack the traps? Super trap. Um, honestly, I think that's probably bad because the Roadhog trap will pop, and then, like, presumably people won't walk I, through. And do I get keep bottom, or do I get keep top? You could, yeah, yeah. I would hide and look for a one-shot here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so, like, this is a prime. On defense, is a lot of hiding and, and setting up for one-shots. They have hog you have to be careful. Certain heroes you have to be very scared of on this type of play. Who, who like will disrespect you. Usually things. Spamming like this is actually pretty good. Can I take her out, maybe push her away from my team? Yeah, yeah, it's not bad at all. Keep spamming the main always, always, always. Like, even if no one's there, you're pre-spamming it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Even con yeah, I like cons like this. It's like, you know what, it's hard to hit those, but like, or hard, you're not gonna probably get a kill with those, but it's just like you're like putting a lot there of pressure on the team. There we go. Case in point. For your Knocks teammates. Knocks her up the ash, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, honestly, I'm junk, if I'm... So, like, for me, I wouldn't do this. Because you, just, you did it before. Okay, that happened to me. It was really nice, actually. You combo her on mech. Worth knowing, the even if it's a broken mech, your left click will still splash. And so you can right. always combo Baby Diva on the mech. It's very, very easy to do. Maybe here now? And I would always do. I would always combo the Baby Diva on the mech. I would maybe look for a backline burst here. Just peek from the high ground, see if you can get one, and then back up. Yeah, back up. The second Tried. was risky, okay. but yeah. Not bad. Honestly, I don't hate it. You didn't take any damage on the first one, so I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Go for it. And then now, spamming again. You can kill Bob pretty quick. Shoot Bob, I would say. 
especially going to Katsune and Bob, you have crazy Yeah, it's a bit of an awkward position. Honestly, your spam with Katsune is like crazy. You just spam, like spamming faster. It's not just higher DPS. It's like, th think about from the enemy perspective, it's much harder to dodge when there's mm. more shots coming faster. So yeah, here I would like leave the trap. And then honestly, the big thing with Zarya is it makes you more want to hide. I like this high ground peak when you did before because you just don't want to spam Zarya, right? So you want to look for these back. I would tire here maybe since you're yeah. right above them. If once they push up. Oh, someone's under. Trap too. Might be a Zarya though. I would keep honestly playing your playing. Like, like keep peeking. Honestly, I would keep poking that corner. Like, it's mm -hmm. shooting down this train is extremely scary for them. Hmm. Yeah, like, 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 like while you're fighting that guy, you can like keep ading this corner. Every single shot, you're like ading. You know, like you you only peek and then you like peek shoot, peek shoot, peek shoot. Like exactly like this. This is like your default spamming like movement type, I guess. Because, you know, you don't need to watch the enemy the whole time and they'll just get more chances to shoot at you. I might look for a... I got to go for a kill on Soldier or something. I would go die, go die car. Go for kills, go for that. Nice, go for one more. No! I mean, you got one, you got one. Like, extremely good to make that call early on Junkrat. To be like, mm. you know what? Like, this fight looks bad. I'm going in for the flank commit. Like, like most of the game, I've been having you do, like, not committing, right? Where you're, like, you're peeking and you're looking for the kill. And then you back off if it doesn't go good. Mm -hmm. But there's some moments where it's like, once you start losing players, being passive is no longer really an option, right? Right. And so, as soon as I, once I start dropping some players and I start feeling like, well, the fight is looking bad, I'm just going for it. I'm going for whatever I can do. So ADing this corner would be nice. Oh, hook, hook is very scary. But if no, you use hook, so you might have a chance to hook for a sec. Yeah, what you're doing is very oppressive for the other team. You can maybe fight Car. I think he's a hog pulling Car now. First him. Very nice. Nice. Honestly, well played. This is a good map. Yeah, actually, I was, I was surprised by we the areas think, we could play. I don't think it was 66 is a particularly bad map. Mm -hmm. It's more like, okay. The scary thing on 66, the reason some of these maps are bad is mostly because flyers and hitscan are very good. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, that, they're like, it's like an inverse relationship between Junkrat and, and flyers and hitscan. The more open the map, the more long range it is, the worse it's going to be for you. So like King's Row is probably the best map in the game for you. And, mm -hmm. The more choked out it is, the better your spam is. Versus open areas, it's easy to dodge spam comfortably. Not the days of Anubis 66 anymore. Is, there's like certain spots on 66 where you have a problem. You know, like um, um, like end of last point is honestly a problem for you on Junkrat, right? Because there's no true corner. You're you're like coming around and fighting them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, attacking attacking first though is kind of okay. Like a lot of times on Junk, you can do weird stuff. Like getting under them in the rooms is extremely good. Um, even on attack, like you know, you can you you shouldn't underestimate Junkrat's ability to just like peek out and like shoot up at people. You know, like compared to some heroes, like hitscan heroes would, would like really don't want that duel, right? Where they're like looking up at an enemy hitscan and they have significant high ground advantage. Mm. That's like super scary because you're you're gonna get headshot from the high ground guy, right? Mm. But on Junk, you honestly don't care about stuff like that really. Because it's it's about as easy to hit your shots looking up. Honestly, maybe it's easier than mm. like like looking down on people. I find to be like harder to hit shots mm. versus looking up. Um, they, like the way the arc, the way the nades arc or whatever. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. More time for them to hit. And also, people on high ground sometimes sometimes you just throw conks at them and bounce them up in the air, and then their position gets weird, or somebody one of your hit scan teammates follows up on them. Generally, that's like my ideal teammate on junk is some kind of hit scan sniper hero that like applies the opposite type of pressure that you do on junk. Mm. So like the ash was helpful there because like there was that one moment yeah. when you were talking about conking and I conked the Moira up and she headshot her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's a mo like yeah. So being able to bounce people around hit scan and also it's the nature of like when you when you dodge junk rat right. The way you dodge junk rat is by playing in the open and like dodging, mm -hmm. right? And and the way you dodge snipers is you sit around covers and you like peek the covers. Mm -hmm. And that's very bad against Junkrat. Like when somebody's sitting on a cover, that's your biggest, that's like your best advantage for Junkrat because you're like bouncing around the walls. 
you're you're like conking them off the covers you know like and they're usually cover means choke point or like limit limiting your movement right so you're like making the enemy there's two things they can't dodge both well you know they're either playing in the open to dodge junk rat or they're playing in cover to dodge hit scan and whoever they're hiding from the other person is getting value mm. so it's like harder to play against you versus if you're playing some comp like uh, I don't know, Junk and Farah. They're just going to sit out in the open and shoot at you. And, like, there's no reason for them to take cover ever. Mm -hmm. um, which you, you want the enemy to take cover. That's, like, they're going to... That means they're not shooting at you anymore. And you you never stop shooting at them because you don't care if they're behind cover. You just... You, almost always, there's some kind of way to shoot them when they're in cover. Mm -hmm. Busan. This is a pretty rough map. Sanctuary is one of the worst in the game. <laughs> um, but uh, Downtown is all right. And... Well, we're uh, locked in with the Sanctuary. The, the Mecha base is pretty good. So, it's all right. It's, like, a... Two out of three type situation. Mm -hmm. Just hope your team doesn't tilt on map one. You're pretty strong on the left side, I will say. A lot of people do fight the left. You mean the drum, so the you, drum side? Yeah, the drum. Yeah, no, I guess not left, left only, depending on your side. Uh, the drum side, yeah. So I guess right on the spawn. Um, God, I play this game too much that I know what spawn you're on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know, I'm like, how do I know that? I just yeah, I also was like, I also like when you spawn in, I was like, what's the right side for this one? And I was like, wait, how do I know that? How do, yeah. Like, yeah. What visual indicator is telling? Like, it must be like this like, picture or something. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's like it's just um, maybe it's where the point is, like because it's. Oh yeah, yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Um, oh yeah, small pro tip for Overwatch: you should turn down your your opacity of the waypoint indicator to Ooh. like not a hundred because it blocks stuff. That's Interesting. Spamming over the drum is nice. You just want to assert your dominance here. Oh, there's a Ryan yeah, there, so. Here. Very nice. You can shoot Ryan all game. Oh, yeah, I'm also now. Oh, they're on ball? Okay. All right, so you're just being weird and spamming all game. You probably can never close distance, so shooting the Ryan is like a nice default. You're like, they're actually on four players right now. Okay, that's what it's Okay, now the Ash is picked. Keep spamming the hit scan if they're not looking at you. It's nice to put some pressure on them. Spamming Ryan is nice. You're just doing what you can since going in is not really a problem. Just keep holding him oh, as much as you possibly can. Too wide a peak, I think. Yeah. Honestly, I think you could also vary the peak. So you peek from the right side of the cover, and then you could go and peek from the yeah, left side. Yeah, go around the, the yeah, main. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, like, usually what I would do is I'd, I'd do that when I'm reloading to be efficient. Yeah, makes sense. I'll just chill. They're all going to kill you now. Yeah, you're... Why was he so horny yeah. for me? What the fuck? Yeah, he just hit the rocket on you. Very, very bad. Careful, careful. You need your teammates. Oh my god. Jump away, jump no, away. No! Fucking take the, take the fucking mini! Why is he dynamiting you? Oh, Ryan died. Okay, don't die now. Just be careful. Be, yeah, yeah. You could also, like, double jump maybe to get close to her. Another option. Scare that nanovisor is super scary. I would stay near a wall. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be out of the That is super scary. Yeah, so like, honestly, Junk is better than a lot of heroes at dealing with some of these like very powerful zone control ultimates like Back Window and, and um, Visor. Because you don't mind hard, like, like just ADing on corners to peek. Mm. You don't mind it. Here, I would just hide and not spam. Spamming is like oh, okay. low value. I would go even more up like into one of those right things with the planters oh they see oh, seen me so ideally you're like setting up very early after you win the fight i would probably look for a tire here and then don't go with it like look at third person with the tire and like find them and then zone them ideally sneak up on them maybe you could, they're gonna be far here but this is good yeah over the wall nice oh the sombra oh, they, they switched to sombra now oh, that's fine but like the the key with that tire is like when you lost a teammate and you're gonna tire to try and clutch, you actually kind of want the tire to go max duration. Yeah, I you're still getting a kill out. with it, but you're 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 literally just using it to stall for time. Like they rotated that long left way because they were scared of tire. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think they played pretty bad. They should have been like in the open trying to shoot the tire 
and instead they like were near walls. So honestly, the Ash is like not that good of a player. But yeah, this is good. Set up on the corner. And then I would just like full crouch right here. You can also, um, actually it's fine, it's fine. Don't even put a trap, I would say. Just full line. Oh, if it's hog, you're gonna have to jump away. Oh, am I going on, go on, go on. Always go for the low mobility. Well, I thought Always she saw me. I thought the Sombra saw me is the reason. <laughs> I would go grab a Vega. Sombra's around here somewhere. Fucking Sombra. All right, go point. The, their Sombra's gonna touch. Their Sombra's gonna touch. You should just sit on point. I would go onto the point. Oh, yeah, Sombra's just physically. For, right. sure, for sure gonna touch. Just playing the game. Oh. Oh. I mean, it's like J this is a, it, she in today play, in today's fine. episode of Jake encounters normal players in cool. the stupidest ranks. Yeah, yeah, well, but I mean, it's like I don't care if Samurai gives up and doesn't touch, right? But you should be you. You don't know where yeah, she is. Yeah, so you yeah, have yeah, to yeah. assume she's gonna touch. The other factor is that when people are in overtime, they are like Wing straight to point. You being on the point is really annoying for them. You can put traps down. You can conk people like that. Bob, when the Ash Bob, if she was a better player, she might have bobbed earlier and it might have touched point. Mm. But you can be like conking the bob so that it doesn't touch point. Or like you bounce it while it's running and it like hits a wall. You know, so you being on point allows you to to either some heroes you just kill them when they're running to point. Other things you conk them or trap them. Like heroes like Wrecking Ball and Doomfist, you might be able to trap in certain spots. Um at some points I if the point is super exposed and scary, and maybe I wouldn't do that, but that's a great point to stand on since there's cover on point. That's a great trap. Exactly what I would have done. Zoom on you, that's fine. Keep peeking, man. Keep, keep putting as much pressure. Oh, well, I just got worried because, like, nice. no one it was good job. It, honestly, running out with, without you don't see anybody is not, not a bad play. Nice. It's a kill. Let's start working up. Huge, huge, huge. Nice. Against Mercy, I don't even shoot her. I just shoot at her teammates, and then sometimes she... Okay, okay. Like, honestly, it's like a waste of time. Just, just keep shooting. Nice. Keep shooting Ash. Keep shooting Ash. Like the thing about shooting Mercy's teammates is she will like fly to them and tank the shots more, more likely than you will actually hit her. Right. Then you aiming and getting her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she just moves too much, you know. Maybe I'll throw comps at her. Honestly, it's not I a bad missed, play. I missed the thingy. Yeah. But yeah, you missed the comp. So I knew she'd go for it, so I was like, I gotta get ready, but... Yeah, I think what you did is fine, Ross. Mm -hmm. Just unfortunate, it didn't work out. Like, like I like jumping up. If I'm right under a hit scan, and you just jump up, and then you pop up right in front of them, you have a very good chance of hitting the combo on them. Just, um, it's like, you're not gonna get one hit, right? So you have a second to think while you're doing it. Break Wisdom Bubble for your team. Always, it's like super high priority, because anything you're gonna hit 100% accuracy on is very high priority. Because okay. almost nothing in the game are you going to hit 100 percent Whereas if you were playing like a hit scan, right? You, you might not want to shoot Winston Bubble. You might be like, oh, I'll just shoot players. But as Junkrat, it's like, oh, I can break that bubble in two seconds. Versus, you know, taking coin flips on big shots. Care, care Ice Block if you're going to go for the kill on her. Um... Yeah, since you didn't know if she's ice blocked, usually what I'll do against May is I'll drive up to her, assume she'll ice block me, and then and then um, yeah, like I yeah, will like, go around wait. the corner and blow up on her. A lot of heroes I'll just go around the corner and just blow up, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was also thinking like, does she have it? Do I wait? Like that's how I was trying to wait her out a little bit, but yeah, it, I think what you did was fine. And then driving into the mail is scary. It does slow the tire and it damages it. So I would probably stay out of the mail as well, because usually yeah, if there's anybody else there, it. they're gonna hit a shot on the tire. I didn't catch the radius of it. I thought I was... Wait, the more I was coming. Did I just hold corner here? Honestly, not bad. The only problem is if they go main, you're in like an irrelevant position. So, yeah, I could jump up high ground. Flink, flink the back line. Go on, go on the... Ah. Go, go again on high ground. Oh, are you dead? Back. Oh my god, too long. Did you kill the combo? Oh. You had a chance, actually. Yeah, I could have hit that. Yeah, she wasn't happy. She's pissed. Like, like right here is like you actually can kill her there. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Especially if you pre-fire the left click while she's swinging in the corner. I'll probably jump again here just to get there a little faster since it's like you know, really fucked here. Throwing in a trap from the top is nice, like right here. Yeah, stuff like that. People like won't see that. Yep. Found your right with no thing. Oh. 
Yeah, but I don't hate that because it's end of the round. But jumping at hit scan heroes in the open is extremely dangerous. <laughs> yeah, as I learned. Like, it's good when they're on a high ground and you're right under them, right? Because he's not going to have any chances mm. to shoot you. But at long range in the open, you're just like, he's going to get like three chances to shoot you, you know? Yeah, yeah. My instinct there, yeah, you're right. My instinct was like, I got to stop this Ash because she's like the only one who's going to clutch this fight. But then I kind of made it more likely that she clutched the fight by feeding her a kill. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can also think like, rather than you being the one to jump at her, you can just hold down a corner and make it so whoever touches point, you'll kill. Mm-hmm. Like that's like for instance on that map, one of the best positions you could be in in an overtime scenario is the cubby on point because it's a great position, mm. very hard to spam. There's very few angles that can see it, and there's a lot of tight corners nearby. You can lay traps right there. So I think what you do is fine. You come in from the top to put a trap down, and then I would have like taken that cubby and like just hold down that cubby until the round ends. Because mm -hmm. I'm like whoever touches, like maybe I'll be AD peeking, maybe I'll peek the ash, but I won't commit on her because I just know okay she'll have to touch, you know. Right, so you're like gravitating towards all these like, you know, nooks and crannies, these like small rooms you can constantly exactly. find. Exactly. You always want to be the tightest angle you can be, the closest you can be to the enemy. Because like you're not only, your spam is better when you're closer to them, when you're peeking and spamming. Um, you're on the corner so you can always LOS break and hide and, and get, get safe. And then when people do chase you, they're chasing you into one-shot terror. So a lot of heroes will never chase you around corners or they shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Like hit scan heroes basically can't do that. Mm -hmm. um, they have to peek you wide. And so... By the close, like uh, the the every position is just judged by how many wide angles there are on it. Mm -hmm. Also, by the way, like that moment when you when you went for the somber kill on the flank, right? Because you thought she saw you. The thing that you got to think about when you're going for those kills, it doesn't matter if people see you. Like when, if even if it was like a tracer who like peeks you and sees you, if the Ana doesn't see you, you still go for the Ana. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Tracer seeing you, the Ana isn't gonna react to what the tracer sees. Right. Not in time because she's gonna die in one in like half a second you know so whenever i'm on those corners like a lot of times i'll do when i'm hiding on a corner is i will let the fast heroes go by mm -hmm. heroes that i'm not confident i will one hit i will let them go by even heroes like um reaper and may that are just hard to one hit i might let them go by and then i'll like because i ideally want the support so the ideal situation there is i like walk right into the ana combo her down and then i use the second conk to like just fly away and then okay. try to land somewhere safe and like just that's like so I, I killed somebody I made so much chaos even if they chase you down and kill you it's probably they're probably overextending and they probably already lost players but um yeah gravitating to nooks and crannies hiding pre-setting before the fight as early as you can especially when you win a fight going forward to like hold down some obnoxious corner and, and hide for one-shot kills very very good um and then when you have tire positioning close to the location you're gonna tire from right um and then especially with tire like i didn't get into this that much because it's you know the old i guess you don't see it as much but like you want a third person a lot with the tire mm. uh, and like look around corners the tire doesn't make any noise when you don't move it it's actually yeah. very important to know that if you don't move it it makes zero noise so when you're playing against a mass flanker comp that is like very hard to tire what a lot of what I will often do is tire and just keep it on my body for 10 seconds mm. because people always want to hunt you. Very, 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 very good players will know, oh, the tire hasn't made any noise. It's still on him. But like people will almost always, if you're, it only works if you're in like a true room where they can't like see what's going on in there before they come in, you know? But right. if you like, if you're up against these heroes like Echo, Tracer, Genji, um, that like Samra is a little bit weirder because she can see you without you knowing, right? With stealth. But um, those heroes that like might want to flank you and go on you, or even tanks like Doomfist, you could just hide the tire for like the first few seconds, and a lot of players will like just try to go and kill you because they think you're tiring something else, mm. and then you just get a free kill. So anytime that I'm like thinking the tire is going to be hard, like it's a wide open area and there's hit scan who can break tire easily, then I, I'm more and more likely to go for those like, um, more and more likely to go for those plays where I'm. Um, um, Third personing with it and just waiting and, and looking, making space, making buying time with it, zoning the enemy. Or on like last fight on overtime, I'll do the same thing. I'll be hiding on point and I'll tire and I'll just hide on point with the tire. Whoever mm. touches first dies. Right. Like someone, they have to, they know the tire is there, but they're going to touch anyway, you know, or the game ends. So it's like very, very strong. When you know the enemy has to go to a certain spot is like your, your biggest power spike on Junkrat. When they're very, when they have to cross a certain corner or it's overtime and they're going to touch the point. When you know where the enemy has to be, then you you can set up to punish it really, really well. Interesting. I, l I learned a lot there. I know it's like come to the end of like the hour, so 
yeah, yeah. I know you'll have shit to do, but I've learned. That I was, definitely learned a lot. Useful. All right, nice. It was super luck, useful. It's super useful. Adventures. Yeah, a new a new rat is born. <laughs> it's nah, funny. This was... I mean, go ahead. You can, you can definitely get high rank on the hero. Like I don't. I think in rank people just don't know the strengths and weaknesses of the hero, and it's like a very punishing hero for people who make mistakes. The problem is that at a certain skill level it falls off, but I think only it's like the very very end where like you're playing against pro players who are gonna play like echo hit scan and destroy you because they they like clear every corner. They'll never peek a corner without clearing it. You know, stuff like that was makes mm. your life really hard. Bap Bap is probably the hardest counter on support because he just drones the tire and you can't get kills with tire. Yeah. Yeah, no, but this has definitely been very informative in terms of like, yeah, because I think always with the coaching, the most helpful part is like the figuring out the answer to the most extreme circ like the circumstance that shut you down, basically the most extreme opposition, yeah. right? So it's like being in like this open maps, being in like a, even a Route 66 where previously I'd be like, I don't know what I should do on Route 66 because you can, I think you can quite quickly figure out on a hero, like this is where the hero is good. But then yeah, when the hero yeah. is like bad, you're like, well, how do I solve this? And that's where you need the expertise of someone like yourself who's who's been there, done that a thousand times, figured it out. Okay, I this is what you do. You just play this corner and you hope for the best. And like, you know, like the Widowmaker on Ruins where it's like, okay, the best thing you do, you kill her first yeah, round and that's it. And that's it. Like, oh yeah, I mean, yeah, apart yeah. from Swap Jump Rat, it's like, <laughs> you got to kill her yeah. the first fight. And then like, that's you got to pray for that. And then, and then like, yeah, just, just hold corners for the rest of the game and hope you never lose the point. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you can use tire. Tire is like a, a better retaking ability than your actual hero is. So on really hard maps, I might like try to not tire except for the retake. Like I'll ideally I win the mid fight, and then even if we lose a fight, that's fine. And I'll use the tire for getting a kill and retaking because the tire is you know much more flexible than you are, and you could pop it from a very safe location and, and look for kills on the retake. So mm. sometimes that can help. And even if like let's say you pop on the retake. As you said, you can go for like the 10 second tire where yeah. they're going to be panicked. Where they're the enemy falls back, back really mm -hmm. far and your team caps the point. Um, so that like really the super optimal times to be to be using stuff like tire is when you, you're, the objective is being capped, mm -hmm. especially on, on, on offense. On defense, it's a little, it's more like kill centric since like the attackers can always get off the car and they don't care. Mm -hmm. But like really ideal is like, I'm tiring and I'm, I'm somewhere hidden close to the car. I pop tire while my, my team is capping. I, and at the end of the point, that is very strong, right? Because they have to touch the car and then mm. they will die. You know, like you can hide the tire. Usually on car is kind of hard because usually that's pretty open, but like around a corner on car and anybody who touches gets one shot. And so they'll just like C9. I mean, what they have to do is like literally sacrifice a player to the tire and then have somebody else touch too. That's like what they should do. But mm. people then we'll just be like, no one will touch. No one will be this one to take a sacrifice. Yeah. Or they all jump in and like two or two people, let's say two or three people. Yeah, like, or they, they ah, over, yeah, overreact and then the tire. So you're like, you're like, you got using that 10 second length of the tires. I think something people don't think about enough on the hero where, where the tire being out on the map is like an oppressive, scary moment for the other team. And you kind of want that to last longer. Like the ideal tire obviously gets a bunch of kills, but it, even more ideal is it like, you're also free pushing the cart for eight seconds while the tire's out, and then you get some kills. Mm -hmm. It's like they, the enemy team isn't even playing the game for those eight seconds. It's like they're dead. Like it's like you killed them at the start of the tire because they all backed off and they all played scared and they let you cap. And then ideally you get kills and now they're on a respawn timer and now they're still not playing the game until they get back to the fight for another 10 seconds, right? But theoretically, the more you can delay the tire, the better. In reality though, it's like if you can get kills, you, you get killed. You know, you don't, you don't want to be too, too greedy with it. Um, but on a lot of maps, like tiring for, for space and time, you lose a player, you buy a bunch of time for that player to get back by making the enemy scared with the tire. Even if you get zero kills, it's like actually pretty okay to do that, I think. Like if mm -hmm. you lose a teammate and the tire makes the enemy not push for 10 seconds, then um, pretty good. Similar to like using Infrasight on Widow. If you lost a teammate, you pop walls. And it's just like the enemy, they want to push because they're, they're up one, but they're scared because they have to push into walls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I so. love it. I love the... Yeah, they, like basically the constant attempts to put them in checkmate, right? That's like, that's junk, right? It's like you're trying to put them in like yeah. a, you do this, you lose, you do this, you lose. Like you're losing something yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much all Overwatch, to be honest. Um, yeah. But just weird heroes like Junkrat that are like very particular in their play style. That's like, that's exactly what they do. They they mm -hmm. like apply, they like punish you when you're forced to do things. The hard the hardest things on Junkrat is when you're the one who has to accomplish something on the map. That is when it's 
you're pretty much like you're spamming you're maybe you're flanking but honestly a lot of maps it's very hard to flank like if they see you flanking it's not gonna work so um you know it's like you're you're trying to find those windows where you can like sneak past the guards you know you're like you're playing <laughs> a bit of a stealthy you're playing like a stealth you're basically like a like a stealth backstabbing hero uh, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. In, a, in a hard spot you're like as soon as you get seen you run away basically mm. and then you're trying again and you're trying to flank and, and set up again got it yeah. i love it yeah this is yeah this is really really enlightening and very fun i think it's a very like fun idea of like what to do and how to approach junk rat yeah yeah any any uh last words for junk rat enthusiasts um i think the biggest thing that's changed in overwatch 2 that actually matters a lot is the trap like the, the trap has become an even better ability than it was before due to the throw distance um so I think a lot of people don't get the most out of the trap. And like, especially when you are like, if you're sneaking up on somebody or, or like, especially when you're sneaking up on multiple people, that's the perfect time. Like, you know, when you, when you snuck up on Route 66 through the tunnel and there were like fucking three guys not looking at you, it was like, holy mm. shit, there's like, this is so sick. Honestly, I would even throw my trap before I go for my combo there. Um, just to like have it out there like like if you can be behind somebody and put a trap behind them that's like oh it's beautiful you know it's like they're they never they'll never see it coming and people who walk, if they get trapped i mean they're almost always dead right almost mm. every hero in the game is going to die to that so trapping is extremely good and throwing it long range like at people behind them putting it on sleepy target you can also put it on may good to know in ice block if mm. you don't put it on the ice block you have to throw it at the floor like right where the ice block meets the floor and mm. then she cannot dodge the trap mm -hmm. um like she will insta trap off the off the ice block so you can punish stuff like ice block really well um you can also bait the trap against heroes like doomfist ball um reinhardt that like want to just like run at you you can like put the trap down and stand right on top of it and like let them let them let the right pin you you know he's gonna get trapped then he'll drop the pin and then he's in a bad spot mm. Interesting. Yeah, the little mind games, five head strats. Yeah, same for Doom. You can like feed him power punch and let him power punch you. If you if you're if you're standing on a trap, the trap will stop all those abilities. Mm. Or or ball rolling. Like if you if you know wrecking ball and you know like the sort of like the ways he wants to roll on a certain map, then like trapping some of those roll spots is extremely good. I gotcha. I gotcha. Nah, man. I really appreciate you giving me your time. It's been really really great and like yeah really fun i had a, I had a really good time of just you talking right. me through junk rat i'm i'm glad i'm glad it was fun thinking about the era. it's been a long time since i've since i've really um thought about, <laughs> thought about junk rat that much but it's uh honestly it was fun to see because seeing you play i was like you know what this hero still works like i i'm like staying away from it these days in high rank because i'm like theoretically there's a bunch of problems with it like oh if they go these heroes then i'll have a really hard game but mm. honestly like there's a lot of maps where like you can probably play pretty well against that stuff and um you know like just by just by like getting the most out of the hero it reminded me of how viable one tricking is until until you literally play pro teams like yeah who, who know everything about the game and how to counter everything people just won't do that until the top you know 50 players in the world mm. or, or in, in na or something are the that's only the time where you're actually going to get truly countered uh, so yeah it can work that's my that's my <laughs> as much as it, it pains me to admit it it, it can work <laughs> Well, if it if it inspires any Jake Rat, let me know. If it, if it All right. maybe the I will. Maybe I'll pull the it out. Maybe I'll pull yeah, it out. Yeah, baby. There. Yeah, baby. It, it did. It did look like a little bit of fun. It did look like a little bit of fun. The final tier of Junk Rat is when the 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 true mechanical skill of the hero is when you fail your one shot, but you hit the conk, and then you ha you hit the air shot on the person mm. when they're when they're flying. That's like the that is like the 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 highest level of Junk Ratting is is that oh yeah and one thing i didn't mention that is really good sometimes in a really rough spot um if you know you're gonna jump in for a kill like if it's a, like basically on, on spots where it's like this is a pretty fucking desperate spot and like there's not a good way for me to spam kills or go for one shots without jumping in you preset a mine on the ground and then wait the whole cooldown um so like you know on race six when you jumped at that ana mm -hmm. conceivably you could have also put a mine down on the choke that was like or like at the spot you would eventually jump to the honest and she doesn't see you mm -hmm. bam somewhere else for a few seconds and then once you get the cooldown back you have three conks right because you left it on the ground it doesn't obviously if the enemy can see it they just break the mine it doesn't really work but a lot of spots on a lot of maps you can preset the mine on the floor wait to have two conks and then when you jump up for your like yolo try and kill them play 
you're going for your 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 one shot combo and then you have one more conk to like try again with basically mm. um so like presetting the mine for, for like so I, on circuit royale attack first point you can like jump over the house um and land on the bridge mm. um and like but uh, but when you're gonna since it's like the enemy has no way of seeing you when you're setting up unless you're playing a flyer then you preset the mine so that you have two more mines when you go in mm. yeah that's like a good good tip for like giga min maxing um the the jump in is like presetting the mine and getting an extra cooldown off same as what you what you do on the rollout kind of like putting it as yeah. early as you possibly can even if you can't jump yet you're not in the spot you throw it early to get the cooldown cycling mm. yeah that, yeah definitely i'll sometimes in desperation I'll, I'll have to try and mix in the triple triple mines i'm sorry i didn't yeah, get to yeah. show you any air shots because in the in the couple days we've managed some you know some farah kills some mercy kills yeah yeah honestly i, I feel like killing farah is like not that hard on your grant like to be honest like farah has such a big hitbox if you just jump up the point blank with her it's mm. pretty easy to kill her so like honestly i, I feel like farah good far players will do well they just like won't come near you you know so they like stay out of your range and they'll save jet booster to fly away from you so like you, you can't get near them but that's again that's like the like play style stuff people only do when they're like actually are really good at far out and they actually know how all the matchups play and what good junk rats will do but like at a lower level fars will just like think they're invincible to you and will fly close to you and you jump at them and one shot them mm -hmm. um also a hero you can consider presetting a conk mine for so you have two chances to one shot them mm. You can also land on Farah's head in the air and pop tire. <laughs> if you if you land okay. on her for even a frame, if you're like mashing Q and you land on her head, you get the tire off in the air. All right, I'll, <laughs> I'll have like, to aim for that. I'll you like float in the animation, you like stay there and then you fall, but like you just insta dead, right? And kill them. <laughs> <laughs> it is possible. Although I will not recommend that <laughs> as a, that's like an extremely meme -y thing to do. I don't think I've ever even tried that in my life, but it does work. I'm, I'm aware <laughs> that it's possible. It's just yeah, let me, let probably me just, better to just one shot her. Let me just troll a hundred tires real quick to try and get that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, because the thing is, it's fine because it's like, well, it's not really fine because you should just pop tire from a safe location and then drive at her. But um, it's if you if you don't land on her head, you can't pop the tire. So it's like, mm -hmm. it only it only works. Like if it didn't work, you wouldn't you wouldn't press the tire if you missed her and you're landing on the ground. Mm -hmm. But you would probably just die. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. It's like it's it's kind of like the Lucio Re Li Zhang rollout where it's like for the one clip, you, how many did you toss? What did it cost you everything? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did it cost? <laughs> everything. <laughs> the last 99 rip tires is what it yeah. cost. For this <laughs> fucking sick montage. One clip. clip that I put on Twitter. Yeah. But for that clip though. All right, man. So I'm going to I'm going to head off play some overwatch but, yeah um, dude good luck good luck are you gonna continue ratting or are you gonna move yeah, on yeah i got i've got i've got seven days of riding so this is day four so i'm still got now i've taken okay. your all right your, maybe we'll uh, see if we can get up what is your your what masters five so you're almost yeah yeah mm -hmm. all right yeah Let's we're master go. five so i think i there's a chance if i if i can stick to stick to like the the principles just, here because you it, can just it, high roll some math yeah that's also the other thing like sometimes it's it's so hard when you're like there's like this journey and there's like you're learning so like firstly there's always your in like uncomfortableness things that you're fucking up and then when you yeah. even if you get t taught something there's like the the pendulum effect right where you're like you have like five things you're thinking about and then you stop doing mm -hmm. the normal things and so you actually deteriorate a little bit in your gameplay you yeah, rng yeah, a few like bad over, maps in a row you like over over focus on like what you're supposed to be doing versus just playing the game and then you might mm -hmm. not play as well uh, but yeah. yeah, and then like you know, you RNG a few maps, bad maps in a row. You start to feel frustrated. You're like, shit, I'm, I'm like not getting anything done. I went negative like that game. Yeah, I mean, what tricking is a high variance activity. That's like basically why I don't recommend it because it's like there's just a variance. Like if you get the the wrong if you get the wrong teammates who like won't play the heroes that make your hero work, then you're fucked. You get a bad map or an enemy can hard counter you, you're fucked. Like so, it's like you know. Even if people are one tricking, I would recommend just just like having a second hero that like complements the weaknesses of their of, of your existing hero, right? Mm -hmm. So if you play Junkrat but you like also can play Echo, you're gonna just do drastically better because like a lot of these spots where you're getting punished by flyers, Echo counters flyers. If you're getting punished by by like hit scan heroes, Echo's not the best against them, but like she can definitely kill Widow. You know, you can definitely you're much better than Junkrat is at getting on top of hit scan and bursting them. Mm -hmm. So on some of these maps, or like heroes like Genji, Hanzo. Um, you know, 
still projectile heroes a little bit similar but then like only like one in ten maps you just feel hard countered and you you go mm. you have like an alt, one alt swap right i think that will honestly drastically improve your win rate if you're like almost always spamming one hero just having one flex pick yeah i think i I think the problem with a hero like Junkrat is if you're like, okay, you want to one-trick Junkrat, I have a flex it. Flex yeah, you're like, okay, well, it just <laughs> echoes is better every time, then all right, then yeah, I'm never picking like, yeah, Junkrat. Maybe, just, maybe I'll just be playing Echo. Yeah, so that's why, I think that's why I don't play so much Junkrat anymore. Because uh, it just never feels like the best hero I could be playing in the situation. And I'm no, but he like, might be the most fun, Jake. He might be the most yes, fun. Yes, that is true. I'm trying to, like, live by my principles of, like, oh, I should always be trying the hardest. I'll try my mm. hardest and playing the best hero I can to win. That's the, that's yeah. That's your try hard in, internal I've been mentality. I've Bastion recently. Even after the nerf, I'm like, wait, this hero just still owns. Like, <laughs> yeah, he still fucks. Yeah, like they didn't nerf the turret or the sentry form at all, which is pretty good. And then the turret still fucking bounds people. Like even though it's nerfed, it's like yeah, this shit still does insane damage. Yeah, it still melts people, and especially like certain matchups, you just like it's just an instant loss for them if they don't switch. Yeah, I played a game of Esperanza with like Babs and Bastion, and we just like captain minute and 45 seconds or something it was like a speed drop <laughs> yeah all right no, I, I hope i hope i'll see some j crack i want to see some j crack clips tag me on twitter if we see another all right all right if, if you, i find if... a sick clip yeah i remember i hit like the greatest clip of my life i still remember this i hit like a bounce them up into the air with the conk i missed my one shot bounce them up into the air and then hit two consecutive air shots on them. Ooh, beautiful <laughs> miss, maybe... miss tf2 man tf2 was like all air shots so mm -hmm. and maybe you'll get that air tire as well the farah head tire yeah i don't think i'm ever gonna go i've seen other people do those i'm like i don't think i'm ever gonna try that i just think it's like wrong to even attempt it's yeah, so stupid yeah. like but because in most maps you could just drive up on the walls and can still kill the farah right like, yeah 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 shit. and you don't die like for free every time from trying it yeah <laughs> yeah definitely all right man it was, it was right. a lot of fun thanks for your time dude i, I appreciate you a lot yeah, yeah, of course, man. All right, GG's and good luck. GG's. I'll see you soon, dude. Peace out. Yeah, bye-bye. All right, gamers. That concludes the Jake Rack coaching section. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot about Junkrat. 